OK, still waiting on that call from Mel from race management. And closing it, it's two minutes and good to go. So, here we go. Cannot wait for this one. They fight five pressure maneuvers here to stay on the foils. Yep. Ineos, very early there. This is going to be an interesting entry for Ineos Britannia. They may be early here. In the box now. Back and down. You've got a big line here on that uh, right side of the race. This is the umpire's GBR early entry penalty. Oh, oh. Big okay. there. So Alingi just have to get off the line clearly here and not get a penalty themselves, and the British will have to lose 75 metres. We heard a surprise, didn't we, in Dylan Fletcher's voice. I mean, it, that did not add up with what they were seeing on their computer. So they are going to be pushing hard here now, Stephen, to try and get a penalty on the Swiss team. Alinghi, Red Bull Racing now just needing to get a clean start, and they will take advantage. So a nervous 90 seconds now for Alinghi, Red Bull Racing. Stay out of trouble. Try and not allow the British to put a penalty on them. What another start to this critical race for the Swiss. Super soft wind. It's eight, nine knots, tops. Just got to stay out of the gas. Stay fast. 40 for the boot. It's going to go for attack. Just look at the pressure for the next attack. Good, good pressure all the way. We're seeing a bit of pin end bias, so probably quite happy to to get to the other end of the track. Uh, the most interesting uh, chapter in the America's the Cup story, what we have seen today. Uh, left, uh, Two yeah, teams yeah, with their back to, against uh, the wall, yeah. and they're throwing it back in the face yeah. of the heavyweights. So the British taking a, a dip port start here. They'll need to wash their penalty, and they're going to go for a split tack start, try and get back into this game. Three, three, five. Three, five. Give way by the British. Almost good to go in this seventh race between Alinghi Red Bull Racing and Enios Britannia. We are good to go. Enios have to brush off that penalty. Penalty clear. In East Britannia, shaken off with the penalty, we are racing and sailing into more pressure. See the green area on the right-hand side of the track. Definitely more pressure where the British are at the moment on the course. And building speed there to 25 knots, so they're safe on the foils. And there is the lead change. Little pressure. Uh, maybe lefties to come here, Ben. Uh, they're getting very strong now. Swiss will be accelerating up on the course here, so decision now for the Swiss whether to cross or duck, and obviously a duck from there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, winning good. Okay, coming down Okay, the voice of guiding Max Bachelon for the day. Hey, keep pushing a long one. On to chase zero, Pete. How about that start of the the penalty for Enios? Yeah, penalty, but uh, how well did they execute it by just setting themselves up Ineos to start on port and come over to the right? And again, it does look a little bit better pressure on the right, and they tucked into that to, to, you know, had the penalty, got rid of 75 metres, but with that right-hand advantage, first cross are ahead. Well executed by Ben Ainsley and the team. Really 
to a building. Nice, nice, nice tack there for Lady yeah. Rebel Racing. Appreciate that. That's the tack now. Or keep clear. Nice. Okay, and for having to sail your course here. Back anyway. And 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 just a cross comfortably there, so good comms on board. British boat. Keeping clear by crossing is always a good way to do it if you can. And a little light patch of breeze between us and the Wimbledon market, all the way to the boundary here. Yeah, left shift to the boundary. Good boat speed on both boats and, and good wind speed at this top end of the track, more than we've seen for a long time. Sailing into probably a, a 10 knot puff there versus a 7 knot lull, so a 3 knot increase in true wind speed. And give you a huge amount more forward speed and angle towards the mark. So you can see the British team there hooking into that pressure, that darker patch on the water. It's a nice little left in with that left hand shift, giving them a little advantage there. But nothing in this race at the moment. Nicely judged. Another lead change coming into the top gate for the first time in this seventh race between these two. Neither boat laying the gate. Daylight coming up here. Okay. Turning up, Ariel. Really nice job there by the British. Two, one, down coming down there. at their opponent, which you're allowed to do. Forcing your opponent to keep clear, building speed. And the British now in a very, very strong position. Coming into the top right. The top gate for the first time. And this must win a match for Olinia Red Bull Racing. And we need to win a match for any of Britannia to become the first team into the Louis Vuitton Cup final. One leg done by the British. Okay. British will take a big um, game here, okay. forcing the Lingi low, and, and then Think about the pressure, don't drive maneuver. into that gas. Yep. Main on here. Like. Good pressure here at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Really okay. Nice. It's the same. Come on. Nice pressure coming back. One, two. Right, keep pushing, guys. Okay, it's back. Really good boat speed. Okay. Okay. there over 40 knots of boat speed. One, sailing into a nice back. little bit of pressure there. They'll take a further gain, sailing into that breeze. More breeze at the top of the race course here. Yeah. Pulling out to a, very quickly a 420 odd metre lead. So, how quickly okay, going from a, a cross just to a 420 metre lead. And Lingy, Rebel Racing now under pressure to keep it tight. A bit of pressure coming here. I think more and more rights will come with this uh, cloud, yeah. No. yeah. I keep pushing, huh? so no can happen. <laughs> nice pressure here. Big race. Nice one. On the long tank. This is the race committee. We are moving the windward gate, shortening the course to 1.2 nautical yeah. miles. Yeah. 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 Right over than that, yeah, right it's correct. Right here. We are right seat. Oh, they've lost the rudder, the British. It's a bad jive down to 20 knots. They need to repop the boat here. Got to get the board out. Just enough breeze there to get back up on the foil. So lucky that they weren't marginal on true wind speed there. Good save by Nice Britannia. Lost a chunk of distance. Yeah, you should be able to get a line so here. know how to make it exciting <laughs> for the commentary team <laughs> and those watching the British. Feels like we've got a bit of give it some fat, doesn't it? Yeah. They obviously passed it here. Yeah. Lots of discussion about coming in fat on the lay line, giving them just a bit of extra just in case. Okay, two, one. Board. Not going to lay at the moment. Oh, yeah, right. Right. Oh. Not their best jibe again, the try. British. I think they've still got enough yeah, wind speed, though. They'll be able to dig themselves out of that hole. 
They're opening the door for the Swiss, though, aren't they? Giving them every opportunity to get back at them. Fire trap. Fire trap. I see it. Good pressure. Watch out for that bottom left corner. Yeah, yeah. Well, way, it's quite a bit cool to drive out. Uh, yeah. Gonna go right turn here, I think. Looks right. okay. And uh, right turn, early tap. From yeah, they. Yeah. Go on. Go yeah, trap here. Right. Nervous of that right bottom left hand corner. Go right early turn. Tack. The left turn, sorry. In Yes, Britannia. They've opened the door Dropping. twice for the Swiss on this downward okay. leg, but have recovered comfortably and will lead the Swiss through to complete oh, yeah. two Maybe legs of six. All the way. Two, one. Boss, just going to go a bit further here. Oh, thanks, go. Yeah, good pressure here, no rush. Okay, my more manoeuvre here for Alingi yeah, Rebel down. Racing. They will jive two, and take the one. left turn. Very well. I think Red Bull Racing not able to capitalise on those two moments for Enios Britannia on that downwind leg, and they will complete leg two of six. They've got to find something, otherwise it's over. The left here, They're just on top of us. Nice special front. Stay fast. board. Okay, let's to the boundary. Okay. Hard to tell, but... You got the breeze point there, just you can't take that. A really nice uh, board for me, for, compared to him. Okay, let's don't get locked at the boundary. Okay. Once we have this speed. Okay, in three, two, one, hold down. Burning. Okay, two. Five grand. Lot of Let's go on board the chase boat for Enios Britannia and Giles Scott joins us right now. Uh, Giles, uh, interesting couple of jives in that second leg, a couple of uh, sharp intakes of breath. Yeah, it's getting a little nervy on uh, chase four here, I must admit, but the guys are doing a good job. We've um, got Alinghi nicely covered at the moment and yeah, hopefully it can stay that way. Yeah, a little bit more pressure, Giles, and uh, a few changes of sails. I mean, how happy are you with, with how the boys are going? Yeah, no, they're, do they're doing good. They're doing good. You know, as you've just seen, it's it's edgy out here, and uh, the bump and the light conditions just, yeah, you've seen it. Losing the rudder is so, so easy. Um, yeah, we made the call to change to our bigger mainsail between races. So, yeah, we've had a bit of a bit of a sail sail change there but yeah we're in a in a good spot fingers crossed we can we can keep ahead here Giles early days but if you can get the job done here what does that mean to the whole group it is early days indeed and I'm not going to make comment on that yeah let's wait to the finish eh? <laughs> all right that sounds like a coach well played <laughs> all right thanks guys with it. Giles knowing exactly what can happen with Press one slip of the rudder, the or one wobble, one touchdown. So we've seen how well the Swiss can dig their way back in. So big pressure on both teams to Especially keep the boat sailing well. Left at the moment. They're pushing yeah, accurately. Nice. nice, guys. Keep it going here. 350 ahead, boys. Let's head to chase zero, Peter Lester. British are looking nice good in these conditions the now. Yeah, yeah that yeah, mainsail change has made a huge yeah. difference. Yeah. Just watching the boat out here, it, it just looks so much more lively yeah. than it did in the first race of the day. And uh, look, they've done a great job of just protecting this right-hand side, looking at the course at the top mark. All the pressure, all the all the good action is in the right, and I think Ben Ainsley and his team have um, really picked that up early. You can see there the the wind in the right, and, and the, it's just so much better right now. And he also looking really, really strong. Like a little more breeze now, surely on the course too. So over 30 knots of boat speed upwind. You're definitely not doing those speeds when you're in super marginal conditions so still a few puffs and lulls but the British team sailing into pressure lining themselves up here for a nice left turn 
it could be a tricky lay here. Yeah. I think we can lay, it's just whether we want to go the other mark. What's the bias? Uh, there is bias, but it's, there's nothing in it, I'd say. Um, bias, go left mark, early drive. It's good pressure down the right hand side. Yeah, exactly. Uh, not that early drive. Yeah. Ineos Britannia, the official challenger of record in the seventh race between these two teams, is about to complete the halfway stage of this final race. They have three more legs to go. If they are in this position at the end of the sixth leg, they will be the first team into the Louis Vuitton Cup final. Have to go a little long this way. No. Happy? Uh, yeah, we can't drive, yeah, 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 you just... Yeah. Okay, they've tagged. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I just wasn't sure about them. Uh, no, yeah, all good. 25 okay. this way. 25 at the moment. That was yeah. a good race here as well. Nice. Good game so far here. Being the best. Hey. Okay. Sure just up the exactly. Three seconds. Down by. Uh, I mean... Two, one, four down. Lee Two. Red Bull one, Racing. Three. What Five. can they do? Two. Down by. Nice pressure holding this. Okay. British there pulling that dive off. Two, one, no problem at all. And a Swiss around the mark. Very nice for sure, yeah. Ready, even more coming on two. This is the race committee. We are nice moving right the windward gate, shortening the course to one nautical mile. Nice right here. Okay. They get into it five. Uh, Lincoln Red Bull Racing just about to sail into a little more pressure here, so you can see the angle difference of the two boats there. Lower angle and better speed as Lincoln Red Bull Racing sail into more pressure. The AG here, a little bit better for the Swiss there making gains. Okay, to drive now to drive off the boundary. Okay, all right. Quite a slow yep. exit speed there for the Swiss team. Big pressure on the British here to pull this off. Holding. Okay, going board. Nice pressure coming back here. Okay, yeah. staying on the foils there, the British, so nervous moments. Led him on, Lee McMillan, having to work hard in those jibes to be choreographed with their flat movements on the foils. Very difficult conditions in these waves to keep the boat stable. Get to low line here. Yeah, I think we can. Out of it now. Lee McMillan there. See the concentration. That's a breeze the other way. The eyeballs pressed like up against the inside the of the goggles. Okay, but it's concentrating it's hard. Here, so it's reaching, getting that pressure. Hey, drive in pressure, but a bit of a cage to drive if you want. Uh, I think let's go to lay. A little bit of something coming down here. Or you know, a few weeks that. ago, Ines Britannia were using Alinghi to practice okay. manoeuvres on. Uh, not anymore. The, their progress has been so impressive. For clearance here. Certainly got Ben Ainsley's full concentration now. They are not going away, and they have closed the gap. They've taken 100 metres on this run. Quickly down to chase zero. Two, one, Peter, a Lingy Red Bull Racing, are they are they are they closing the gap? Yeah, I think well from yeah, I think they have closed the gap. I think it's because there's a bit of breeze coming in. The sky is looking really angry in the south. And uh, this one's not over. There's still going to be uh, a, a couple of curveballs. I just feel as though uh, this one still has a bit of life left in it yet. And a Lingy are not giving up, they're pushing hard. The British here, I'm not sure whether they'll lay down to take the left turn. It'll be touch and go. It looks like they're just getting there at the moment. I think it looks good, doesn't it? I agree. They seem confident. Yeah, but it's a nice job. Light pressure at the bottom here. We're seeing six, seven knots. Up in five. Ineos Britannia will complete leg number four. 
two oh, to go. Let's go two to complete and stay in front of Alingi Red Bull Racing. And you're one step away. Beautifully executed. Lyle on there. Executed, I should say. English speaking language working a bit better than I am now. They've made it down, is the main thing. Didn't have much left in the bank, though. Red Bull Racing have made some gains on this downward leg. Way Enios Britannia are sailing Britannia today. A left here. Might be in vain, but two legs to go. And they have shown real fight. Real fight. British executing their tap and staying on the foil, so. Uh, They've got nothing on this British fans. A couple of light patches to negotiate, though. So the next tack for the British and Alinghi Red Bull racing in slightly lighter breeze than what is further up the course. So we have to make sure they keep the pace on. This is the race committee. We are moving the finish line, shortening the final leg to 0 0.9 nautical miles. On to chase zero. Peter, what do you think about the chances of a Lingy Red Bull racing? We've got about a leg and a half to go. I think they're running out of real estate, to be honest, unless uh, one of the uh, uh, Enios touches down from where they are now to the top. Uh, look, it's a reasonably good breeze, and as they get further towards the top mark, it's actually even a little bit more. So I'd expect, given going into fresher breeze, the leading boat, Enios, will probably make a little gain in the top third of the course. It's an important tack to pull off that last tack. That was really probably the most important tack of the race, I think, to this point in time. And the British just keeping the boat on the foils there. Sailing into a slightly more pressure now, so they'll be looking forward to seeing more breeze on the bow. Got to keep their heads up on a Lingi Red Bull Racing. It is not over yet. And just get this pressure here. Yep. Let's take stand by. Nice speed. Big hitter. 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 Big Big wash off the speed. Right, right, right high. Flat or a bit? Wait, wait, what do you think? Uh, flat is good. Okay. I think we sh it's a good to take right turn and hopefully match them. Yeah, agreed. Good games to us here at the moment, Ben. Little increase in time, shortcuts. Okay, a little bit. A little bit of leeway now, Leroy. Puppy. Port Helm to the Fletcher, calling games. It will be 20 the other way before the bear away. Slightly softer in five, we've got good speed. Yeah. Yeah. Harvest mode on the new tank, please. Yeah, got to get down the run. Nice work. Okay, stand by. And board. Two, one, eight. Oh. Turning, going well. Yep. Two, one. That's good, board. Any else for ten, yep. One more leg to go. One more leg to go to be the first into the Louis Vuitton Cup final here in Barcelona. How much pressure in this final downwind leg just to get it right and sail clean? It's going to be a steady push all the way. There's the pressure here, lads. 41 not extra speed there, the so they are in good pressure. The Everyone British the other way. will be happy with that. Looking good in this corner again. Yep. Swiss still one more tap to do to get through the gate. Okay. Here we go, here's the best of it. Anyway. Stand by. All the way, yep. Good stuff. Going down. Three, two, one, mate. They got it. That's okay, Mike. Let's go. Push! Push! Push. One. Turn board. Hearing the voice of Freddie Carr, one of the cyclers. It's been a big day. Oh, Lingy Red Bull racing off the foils. 
Paid up. Passion. Yeah, the pressure is told now. As they were coming into that top mark gate, a big, big right hand shift, and they were chasing the shift. It so when they, before they went into the tack, that was very costly. And the big touchdown. I think that's the game breaker for now. Uh, Ineos just need to keep going. It looks like they're going to take out and be the first team through to the final Louvre Tom Cup. Looking at the replay here, oh, big shift, low pressure, difficult maneuver. There must be a sinking feeling right now for the supporters of Alinghi Red Bull Racing. Not what they wanted to see at the top mark for the final time. But if you are a fan of Enios Britannia, the official challenger of record, your fingers will remain crossed for not too much longer. They have kept the Swiss at bay. They raced out to a 4-0 lead and looked like they would romp home, give the big donut, but no, the Swiss kept coming and kept coming and took it to 4-2. But today on a Wednesday in Barcelona, the official challenger of record, Enios Britannia, have landed the knockout punch and they are the first team through to the Louis Vuitton Cup final. And still have their business face on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, congratulations to Ineos Britannia, the whole team, nice job, making it through to the Louis Vuitton final. And it is a huge team behind the scenes there, family, supporters. And relief for the fans that are in the van village who've been waiting for this one moment. They're a step closer, a step closer to the match. But who will they face? Well done, mate. Fuck yeah. They kept their cool after this morning's race and really delivered. But take your hats off to Alinghi Red Bull Racing. They could have been down and out, this young team, but they said no, and all through this regatta, it's been eyes forward and saying, tomorrow's another day, tomorrow's another day. But today, as they cross the line, the dream is over. A really uh, solid uh, effort just, uh, from the, um, the Swiss team, Alinghi Red Bull Racing. Made it through to the semi-finals. Certainly showed what they can do and took a big race win this morning, but unfortunately not enough to stay into the competition. But hats off to the team, a huge effort, and certainly fantastic to have them here pushing hard on the waters of Barcelona. I'm sure we will see a lot more from Alinghi Red Bull Racing in the future. So, Alinghi, excuse me. So, Enios Britannia are through to the Louis Vuitton Cup final. They've done the job. 5-2 against Alinghi Red Bull Racing. And Ben Ansley, tell me you're happy. Give us a smile, pal. Yeah, happy with that. Tough day out here, and You know, you can see, probably look, look for uh, people watching on the telly, probably look like we were doing a pretty bad job, but it's seriously hard out here with this wind all over the place and the waves and... You know, also credit to Alinghi, they set a great first race and pushed us hard in that second race. And it's, you know, it's obviously tough for them to, to not make it through at this stage. They're a great team. What's your overwhelming feeling right at the moment, Ben? Yeah, I think, I think we're all very relieved to have got through today and survived and made it through to the final because in this stuff, anything could happen. Congratulations, mate. Well done to the team. Thanks, mate. Uh, ben, uh, Arno's uh, listening in on this conversation. Would you like to say a few words to Arno? Yeah, just uh, great effort, Arno. Uh, sorry for you guys. Um, you know, I think you're a great team and you're a great young team that have come through and shown a huge amount of promise. And it'd be great to see you back next time, mate. Yeah, thank you very much, Ben. Uh, I think it was a pleasure for us to sell the semi against you. We uh, learned a lot uh, 
and uh, we need, we know what need, we need to do to improve. Uh, but uh, really, thank you, and uh, you guys deserve it. And uh, all the best for the rest of the competition. We'll be cheering for you guys. Okay, thanks, mate. Ben, appreciate your time, and once again, congratulations. We'll carry on our chat with Arno. Arno, uh, it's over. Uh, what's going through your mind right now? Uh, well, I think, yeah, um, I don't know exactly what's going through my mind. I think, yeah, it's over. We, uh, I think we, we started to sail the boat uh, pretty well uh, yesterday and today, uh, but uh, that was slightly too late. Uh, but I think it's, I mean, we're privileged to be here and uh, to be part of this competition and all the effort from the guys. I think it's more a massive thank you to all the short team, the design, the support, uh, uh, to, um, to Mr. Ernesto and Mr. Matesic to have gave us the opportunity to do that. And uh, I think we should not stop it here. Uh, we, we are into something uh, and uh, we should carry on. But uh, I think once again, we didn't have any issue on the boat, like in the systems, uh, electronic, hydraulics. And for me, uh, it's the, biggest thing that it's we we might have failed on the sailing side but uh, everyone else uh, achieved their goal so which was really nice for us Arno it has been an absolute pleasure telling the Alinghi story you came so far and got better and better as each race went by and just a thought really about the young team that's around you right now and just how much better you have got during this event yeah, I think we, we just did learn every day uh, from our mistake and uh, from the opponent. And I think it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's I'm uh, kind of a really uh, emotional, I think, to be able to sail with this young team. Uh, and we will uh, look in the future to see what happened. But uh, I'm really proud to be part of it. And I know just once again, uh, commiserations. But, mate, thanks for being such a gentleman every time we've had a chance to talk with you. Yeah, thank you very much. So let's confirm the result. And this series is done as far as Ineos Britannia and Alinghi Red Bull Racing done. A one minute and 10 second win and Ineos Britannia, the first through to the Louis Vuitton Cup final. What does the scoreboard say? It'll show five green dots for Ineos Britannia. If they want to go to the match, they're going to have to have seven of those in the Louis Vuitton Cup final.